This guy, this Thank you. My name is Jeff Mason, and I'm glad you're here. A lot of other things you could have done. You could have gone shopping. Like most men, I hate to go shopping. Because when I go with my wife, we have two different objectives. For my wife, this is the period before the buy. This is a liberation, the getting to know period. It's shopping foreplay. For guys, the goal is to get in and get out. Women need the romance, guys are single-minded. Does this sound like anything else? So I'll go with my wife to the mall, and I'll sit in a chair. But not just any chair. It's the special chair for husbands. The board husband's chair. Single guys can't sit in it because they have to make believe they're interested in what their girlfriend is buying. <laughs> Oh, no. Married guys don't have to pretend anymore. So if you're a single guy and you're at the ball and you want to sit down, I have a message for you. Get out of my chair. I earn that chair. <laughs> so we sit in the board husband's chair and bug our wives to hurry up because there's a game on. Why don't the stores make it the happy husband's chair? Give us a recliner, some pizza, and a flat screen, and we'd say, honey, take your time, the game's on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, we just want to sit down. We don't care where we sit. My wife took me cow shopping, and she's asking me about color, the fabric, if it goes with everything. I don't care. All I want to know is, does it face the TV? <laughs> See, beer shopping, that shopping guy's good at. Men shop for beer, the way women shop for shoes. Does this beer go with the TV? <laughs> does this freshness thing look right to you? Excuse me, do you have this in a size 12 pack? <laughs> But the one type of shopping that I really like is going to the warehouse. Costco, BJ, Sam's Club. Those places are impressive. I love going there. Because you go shopping once, you don't have to go shopping there for months. What I don't understand is when people say that they're going to run into Costco for a few things. A few things at Costco? Impossible. I never walk out of there with less than a thousand paper plates and a gallon of fruit cocktail. <laughs> I don't think they went to buy less than a ton at a time. And I once saw a guy at Costco go to the cashier with one item. One item in Costco. You cannot do that. I mean, literally, you can't. The cashier got the manager and they made the guy go back and stock up on paper towels, napkins, and toilet paper. Or as they're known, the whole new trinity of Costco. I wish car shopping was that easy. I drive a lot, so I have to get a new car every few years. And I always go to the same dealer, I get the same salesman, and he always does the same thing. I get the hearty handshake, and my wife gets a kiss. But not an innocent peck on the cheek. She gets a passionate, I want, I need, I desire your commission kiss. It's like his tongue's an SUV in my wife's mouth so she car garage. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> pretty offensive, really. But I guess I don't mind because I always get a great deal. <laughs> in fact, Last Monday, I said to my wife, we're getting near 100,000 miles. Time to stock up on the other toys. In the sack, the sack and package I've been looking at, maybe I should bring some other toys too. Thank you for that. Walking around the door, 
We go into the laundry room. We come into the laundry room. And that's great. So I'm surprised to read that the Trojan company did a survey. That's the Trojan company, not the Greek people. The Trojan company did a survey of sexual openness on college campuses. And his school was rated 10th in the country. 10th. They have three conferences in the laundry room and they're only 10th. Do the first nine deliver them by room service? Three conferences in the laundry room. What do they keep in the library? Scented oils? And is my son going to associate laundry with sex his entire life? This could be a problem. And it gives a whole new meaning to fluff and fold. <laughs> free condoms in the laundry room, but there's no free fabric softener. How's a guy supposed to get any if his sheets aren't soft? <laughs> Thank you very much.